In today's video, we'll be testing out the brand new portable solar panels that EcoFlow has released. These are their 125 watt N-type bifacial solar panels. Now you can actually purchase one of them on their own. You can purchase two of them or a whole set of four of them for 500 watts. Now this is a replacement for their previous 400 watt portable solar panel. And I'm really excited about this design because they are much more portable than the previous version. Now here's a closer look at the solar panels lined up side by side. You can see the type N or Topcon cells here, and these are bifacial like I mentioned earlier. So depending on the surface that you have your solar panels on, some of that extra light can reflect on the back of the solar panel to give you extra power. Now looking in the back, they do have adjustable kickstands and they have these jumpers that connect them together so the power can flow through each solar panel. Taking a closer look at the kickstands, they are adjustable, they flip out just a little bit more than they are here. And when you're not using them, they tuck up against the back of the solar panel. Now to get them lower, you have this little bit here that you can adjust, so this flips up, and then you can get the solar panel lower on the ground. Now I've also seen people put pavers or sandbags on top of these, and you could also put some sort of anchor to hold the solar panel down. Now right here you have the jumper that connects them together, so each solar panel has two of these, and so, you connect them together and it wires the solar panels together in parallel. So each one of these solar panels has a voltage open circuit of 50 volts and a peak power of around 43 volts and three amps. So when they are wired together, you get a total of about 12 amps at 43 volts or right around 500 watts. Now at the edge of the array, you have an XT60 connector. And in the box, you get this adapter that allows you to have MC4 output. Let me get the end of that. So you can see you can connect up any type of solar charge controller or power station if you have MC4. And they also include MC4 to XT60i if you need to connect it to one of their power stations. Now right here, I have EcoFlow's original 400 watt portable panel. And I wanna see how much power we get from this panel. And then we'll test the newer ones. So I have aligned this up using the Cantrick to get rid of the shadow. And I just have it leaning against my shed because the kickstand or the case that comes with this does not allow this to sit straight. It kind of sits all diagonal and you can't get peak power unless it's like aimed perfectly at the sun. So sitting against my shed here directly south midday and we have it angled properly. So let's see how much power we get from this panel. Now I've connected that 400 watt solar panel up to my Delta Pro 3 and we are getting 408 watts input. That's a little bit over the rated power output of this solar panel, so fairly impressive. Now for anybody that's curious about the solar conditions today, we are right at midday, it's at the end of March, and we do not have any haze or clouds today, so really good solar testing conditions. Now in order to keep the test as fair as possible, I've hurried and moved the 400 watt panel, and I've set the 500 watt solar array in the exact same place. So these are now lined up perfectly with the sun. It's midday, you can see right there, perfectly lined up the shadow. So let's see how much power we're getting from these solar panels. Take a look at this. We are getting 556 watts from those solar panels. So about 55 to 56 watts more than the rated output. So we have some really good testing conditions today and these panels are putting out really good power. Now I mentioned earlier that these solar panels are wired together in parallel, meaning that they should perform really well in partial shading. So I've taken my ladder here and it's casting a shadow on two of the solar panels just to simulate some sort of partial shading. So let's see how much power we're getting even with two of these solar panels shaded. So with two of those panels shaded, we're getting around 325 to 328 watts. So we still get a decent amount of power even if two of those panels are shaded. Now I failed to mention that there is a really cool feature about these solar panels. Each one has a built-in solar tracker at the top of the panel. There's a dot with a circle. So whenever you have it perfectly lined up, that shadow is in that circle. Now it's been a couple minutes since that test, so we're not perfectly lined up anymore, but it gives you a good idea of how the solar panels lined up. Now it's pretty interesting when you compare the prices between both of these panels. You'd think that this older panel that puts out less power is less expensive. However, this one is priced around $750 on their website. And then when you look at the price of these new panels, if you purchase four of them for 500 watts, they're priced right at $500. So they put out more power and they are less expensive. Now I wish my camera was just recording to witness what happened here, but I was just about to talk about some of the downsides of the panel design. 
and a small gust of wind came and actually pulled one of the panels down. And because the connecting cables are so short, it pulled each one of the panels down and a chain and the last panel actually cracked. And I guess that's one of the downsides of having a very thin tempered glass with solar panels. So after any solar panel has been sitting in the sun for a while, I recommend uh, using gloves because they get really hot. But this is just uh, what I wanted to show you is when you go to disconnect the panel, see how short the cables are? So you kind of have to be very careful um, disconnecting them. Okay, so that one's good. Go ahead and move that out of the way. Let's just see the damage here. We'll see how easy these tip over. Because that's the only other worry that I have is that they're so tall and narrow that they might tip over pretty easily. Let's get these moved quickly. Okay, I think this one came unattached when it fell. Yep. Okay. Chickens in the background. There we go. Now, I'm guessing that, let's see. Can you see that? It was actually the kickstand. The kickstand right here. That's what uh, caused it to crack. So we just have a few little gusts every now and then. So we'll see if these solar panels fall over. So those are the three good ones. This is the one that's cracked. It's really hard to see the cracks. I don't know. But I have it hooked up to the power station, so I'm curious what type of power it puts out even though it's cracked. So even though that panel is cracked, we're still seeing 157 watts. So still about 25 watts over the rated output. So maybe the cracks don't affect the output that much, but it is still a bummer that these panels were brand new and I already cracked one. So after testing these solar panels throughout the day, one thing that I think that would improve this design a bit is to have some sort of clamp that could go between the solar panels on the top. For example, if the ground's a little bit uneven, the solar panels are pretty wobbly and they kind of just don't you know, stack up against each other. But if there was a clamp between each solar panel that held it tight, it would kind of be held as one single array I don't think it'd be as vulnerable to like the wind or, you know, tipping over. So if they could incorporate some sort of clamp to hold the whole thing together, I think these solar panels would be much stronger. Okay, well, after testing the new 125 watt bifacial N-type Topcon solar panels, what a mouthful from EcoFlow, you can see that they put out really good power. They are priced less than the previous generation of their portable panels, but uh, there are some downsides. They are fairly fragile, and because they are so um, kind of skinny and tall with a very narrow kickstand, I do think they can fall over pretty easily. So uh, let me know if you guys have purchased these panels or you are using them, what has been your experience? Are you seeing the similar power totals that I'm seeing? I mean, really good wattage, but have you had any crack on you? I guess that's the big question here is how durable are these panels? Because I didn't do much. Um, my panel fell probably a foot and a half and it shattered. So uh, I'm curious if that's something that has happened to you guys or have you guys seen that they're pretty durable? I will include the links to both of these panels down in the video description. Um, just be aware, these are portable panels. So they are priced higher than residential um, rooftop panels uh, like you see in the background here. So if you're wanting a large array that's not portable, you can save money by going with those larger format solar panels. But if you need something that's portable and lightweight, these are um, the type of panel that you'll need to go with. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. I gotta reach out to EcoFlow customer support about that broken panel.